Yeah. Here we go. Okay, guys, so let's mess with some Python, right? So I'm going to try and do some of these commands in my Python idle x. So let's go. Definitely for me with Python 3, you know, if I do my normal stuff, 1 plus 2 is 3, you know, 2 times 3, 6, right? Now, if I want to do like 3 cubed, right, the way you would do it in Python before, so 3 to the third power would be 3 star star 3, right? Or you could do like pow, and then you could do 3 comma 3. So this hasn't changed, right? The basic things of Python have not changed. You know, it's, it's, it's been the same, right? So if I do like floor, right, and I do like, you know, 2.6, it should blow up. And the reason is you need to import math, right? And now you can say math.floor, right? And now you can do your 2.7 and it'll round it down, right? Now there's the first difference that I noticed with Python. All right, so here's the old version of Python. Here's the new version of Python. Probably shouldn't have did that, huh? Let's change these colors. What do you guys think? So if I do the exact same thing that I see over here, I'll do the exact same thing, right? Floor, 2.7, it blows up, right? So I say import math, right? And now I do math.floor, right? And I'll throw the 2.7 in there and notice that it returns a float. Python 3 returns an integer. So for me, most of the time when people talk about the difference between Python 2 and Python 3, they usually talk about the print statements, right? So if I print hello versus over here, I print hello, doesn't work. You've got to throw this print statement in parentheses. So that's the biggest difference that most people notice with Python. It's the difference in the print statements. So the print statement is functionalized, right? But you'll notice in Python 2 on the green on the blue side that this works too. So I didn't find that to really mess me up that much, but this number stuff, that messed me up. I gotta be honest with you. What I always used to say with Python was, if you did 10.5 times five, he would return to you an integer, right? I mean, a float. So here I'll do 10.5 times five, he returns to me a float, right? 10.5 times five returns to me a float. 10 point times five returns to me a float. So the, the big deal that I always used to say, if you're talking Python, if you talk to it with whole numbers, five times five, it returns a whole number. Five times five, it returns a whole number. If you do, if you do square root, 81, whoops, math.square root, 81, right, he's going to return a float. Here he returns a float. So I was cruising. I was like, okay, the only real thing I need to know is this print statement is what's different. But then I started to mess around with it a little bit more and I ran into something. Let me show you. This was something I would do in Python a lot. I would use these back ticks.
and it would just work. Well, if I did the same thing, now to equals 46, and now paste that in as back ticks, sucker blows up. So I used to be able to, in Python, I used to do that. So that would work fine. The problem would be if I tried to do this. That takes num. In Python 2, this works. Right? It'll work fine. Now I do the same thing. Back takes 10, excuse me, back takes num, and it would work perfectly. My back ticks are gone. So that was the first thing that really kind of kind of messed with me. And then the other thing was sometimes, like let's say you did like modulus. So if I did nine modulus four, I would get that. Now if I do nine modulus four over here, I thought one of these gave me a float back. Let's see, one of these was crazy. Let's try that. So let's go 18 divided by 7 is 2 and 18 divided by 7. Yeah, there you go. That's the other one that messed me up. In the old version of Python, look on the left side. If I said 18 divided by 7, because it was whole number divided by whole number, it would give me a whole number. In Python 3, whole number uh, divided by whole number, integer divided by integer, it gives me back a float. So that was the other thing that messed me up. These were the quirky little things that, at least for me, would be like, huh? Weird. You, you know what I mean? Just weird. How many of you guys ran into this stuff? Any of you guys ran into this stuff? So here's the other one that I ran into that for me was weird. So in Python 2, you had input. So let's say I did age equals input, right? And then for my input, I could be like, so right here, I could say, you know, I'm 44, right? And now as soon as I said age, it would be like, okay, you're 44. Well, in Python 3, if I tried that same thing, I could say age equals input, right? Right here, enter your age, right? And now when I enter my age, I say 44, right? Age, it works. Well, okay. What if I change it and I want to enter my name? What you had to do is you would say raw underscore input. And that was how this worked. Well, what if you tried to do the same thing? So in Python 2, in Python 2, input was how you took in integer input. And then raw input was how you took in string input. Where now in Python 3, you have to say that it is a string. You have to say that it's a string. And then you can do the same thing to say that it's. So these are the quirky little things I kind of ran into, at least for the trivial stuff that I was doing. I'm not doing any really, really, really hardcore stuff. But, you know, for me, you know, it was it was a change. It was it was definitely a change.